good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the day of the video. Darren, how's it going today? Today, and sorry again, it is the morning morning, it's one o'clock, um, I'm about to head off to bed. Um, I haven't, like, <laughs> we've been really bored today. I say we, Laura's been really bored today. So, therefore the daily vlog hasn't particularly, I haven't really had that much to vlog about today. Um, as much as I try to keep you in the forefront of my mind, um, to try and vlog more at the weekend. Um, not much has been vlog worthy. Um, we got up this morning at a semi decent time, oh, just before 8 o'clock, um, and then we came into here, had breakfast, and then got ready so we sorted our video and stuff before we headed on out. We were going to go, we were planning on having, hence the, the change of plan today, which kind of made us really bored. We were planning on going like all over the place, going shopping. Um, we went up to Cribs, we were going to go then go to town, and if we needed to, we'd have driven to Swindon. Um, because we were shopping for uh, one of Laura's birthday presents, which is uh, some sunglasses. Um, I was looking for presents for Laura, and um, I've spoken a couple of times about like how much I love my sunglasses. I love my Ray-Bans, and they was some of the best money I've ever spent uh, was on those sunglasses. And I tried to get Laura into like that kind of thing. And I said, like, why don't for your birthday I'll buy you some nice sunglasses? Because normally you like just buy like the twenty pound ones from like Top Man or something like that. Top, obviously not Top Man. You know what I mean? Top Shop. Um, we invest in some really good ones that you really like. And obviously that's quite difficult to find because I think specifically for girls, if I'm wrong, gen generalising or whatever, they like the way fashion works for girls is a lot more like this is in season, and then as soon as it's out of season, it's like oh I don't want to wear that. So we were trying to find some sunglasses that like Laura really, really liked and she'd wear for several years because that's what they're designed for. Um, you don't spend a decent amount of money on sunglasses just to throw them away next year and wear them for a week. Um, but we were finding it quite difficult. So we were going today, we were literally like, we were doing the runs around to try and find somewhere that had them. First stop, first shop, went to John Lewis, <laughs> was looking at them and then this really nice woman came over and helped and was like, oh, I think that maybe, I see what you like. I like that style as well, because we saw some that she liked, um, that we were going to get, um, but they were like, like, double, <laughs> double the price of my Ray-Bans, um, and Laura couldn't justify it, and I was like, ah, that's, that's a lot of money, but if she likes them, I'll buy them, um, but then this woman was like, no, actually, I think that, like, this style, try these, she tried them on, and she literally immediately fell in love with them, and it was a case of, buy them. I don't even care about the price tag, I'll buy them because they look on a little face, look on a little green under them glasses. So so cute. So um, we got those sunglasses and then we came back home. <laughs> like, we were planning on going on this huge shopping trip for these glasses, going into like every shop under the sun that would even have a chance of doing them. And um, we solved it in the first shop. So it was kind of good, kind of bad, because then we had a boring day from that point on. And we came back here, we had some lunch, and I've been sat doing programming all day. Uh, Laura's kind of been pottering around, not really having much to do, bless her. Um, and we've been watching TV, and like Laura's been pottering, like playing the piano and stuff. Um, watched Formula One qualifying live, which was good fun. Um, I also just finished watching The Avengers, which was obviously I've seen it before. And like it was in the background while I was programming. Um, so yeah, it's literally since the afternoon has been spent just sitting inside doing stuff. But I have been churning out. Um, I've been like programming hard, pushing forward on this this thing. What I'm basically doing is I'm generating information from the uh, staging directory so that I can then apply that information across all of my copies while the copies are being created. So before the copies are being created, I know all of the information I need to know about them because um, I basically go, hey, copy all of those, get the information from these, sweet, okay just like change the paths, I'm cool, I know where it all is. So that's the plan there, that's what's going on. And I've just got to the point now where I have my builder, my fluent like extractor thing, um, that's able to extract all the information from the staging directory. Um, because I've talked about this before, but it's semi-complicated because in some scenarios it's able to infer the information itself. Um, in other scenarios it requires user input, um, so I had to build a clever system of doing that. I was churning out the code to do that. That's really cool. It's all working now. It's a lot cleverer than it used to be. Um, I don't really know. <laughs> the the old one was relied heavily on the user or default values. This is a lot more like snappy and clever and nicely separated. It's got like, there's a chain of different things that have all different 
um, responsibilities. It's really nice. All I have to do now is feed that into the initial controller because at the moment it's just not hooked up. It's like a completely severed um, arm. Um, hook it up, get the information, and then write the thing that basically writes that information across all the other test products, which I've got the file. I've got, I'm like, I've got that. That's like, just write th three or four tests and then boom. Um, and then basically return it all out and then that's it. That's the, the second leg finish. No, okay, no, the first leg. We'll call it the first leg because then the command line is like one of the heads. We'll call that the head because that's when you like come into it. Then you've got the body, which is the core, which is like partially being created. And then this is the first leg. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be nearly finished. That means I can double check on the status of spec flow, so I can start writing acceptance tests. Um, I'm not sure about that, but hopefully it'll be fixed soon. I think I haven't heard any news. I'm trying to keep my ear to the ground on like the developments in .NET Core and all that kind of stuff so that I can find out when things are available and when they're working properly. Um, but yeah, like there's things on my build server which don't work great and I'm waiting for things to update and like third party stuff to update so I can make it work better. But it's going really well. I've like made loads of progress today. I'm really proud of myself. I've done good. I have like what I've started doing, I said a while ago that I was working on like project planning stuff. Um, I'm working, I've started what I've basically been doing at the moment is just like kind of logging things in my to-do list and then doing them. Um, what I've started doing is putting them into my like project planning app, which is like Asana, Asana, um, which is basically a load of different boards. Uh, yeah, Asana, um, which is a load of different like groups. It's designed for my company so that I can have different teams working on different projects and then I can have all the things that are related to that project here, all the things related to that project here. I can have development teams that have this project, this project, this project. I can sync communication and calendars and all that kind of crap. A load of things I don't need. Essentially, there's to-do list in there. I can keep track of all the tasks I'm having. So like, on a day-to-day -day basis, I have my to-do list which has things in it like sort out daily vlog, clean out Graham, um, iron shirts, etc. Um, like normal day-to-day -day stuff. I then have in there, I have um, tasks that are relating to my um, stuff, my like, company. Um, <laughs> it's, not, it's not really a company yet, but kind of thing. Like it's a broad spectrum. It's not just the development of this. Uh, there are other things that go on as well. Um, and so there's that. Oh, 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 my knee just clicked. Also, um, there is the um, Visual Studio Online, which is like a Git scrum board, which has like tasks and things, and that's what all the source control gets checked to. I don't really use that one because, um, like, at the moment, I'm kind of just copying things across. There isn't new features to go in, so I haven't really bothered with that yet. Uh, I haven't really bothered with the other one the middle one until today, but it's, it's pretty good, it's working all right for me. I'm going to look to see if I can get some kind of like um, app on my phone where I can just kind of press it and it times how long I'm spent doing stuff and then I can it unpresses and stuff like that. I think that would be useful, it would be an interesting thing to have um, to keep track of things. <sighs> so yeah, that's about that really. Otherwise, today I tweeted about um, <laughs> about how I've been kind of like a bit of a recluse on the internet recently. Like I don't really tweet much, don't really post to Facebook much, apart from photos every now and again, Instagram every now and again. Like I'm, I'm a bit of a recluse. To say that I upload daily videos to the internet, I'm probably uh, up there with the people who use the internet the least um, out of those subsets. Um, and today I got like dragged back into it and someone tweeted me and you know when someone I don't know. There's a level of, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'll say this exactly how I mean it. Um, you know how um, sometimes you get a tweet from someone and you think, that's a weird tweet. Um, and you like, it's, it's difficult to figure out whether it's weird because the person's weird or because they have like some kind of learning disability or something like that and it's not like their fault that it's weird. Um, or Conversely, uh, English isn't their first language, so the question comes across weird because it's like in a different thing. Um, so, <laughs> so, 
Or, saying that as well, maybe they're like eight. You know what I mean? So they're like, there's a different level of weirds there. They're all quite similar. Um, except for one kind of weird, which is kind of like weird in a like sexual way, let's say. I got a tweet from, a, from someone who said that they were catching up on my, um, on my daily vlogs. Um, and says, I've noticed you got hay fever quite a lot. What kind of symptoms do you have? Well, that's a strange question to ask. Um, didn't think much of it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, hay fever's a, hay fever's a bitch, isn't it? Um, I mainly have, uh, like, my eyes get itchy, and it becomes like, if it, my eyes become really irritable, and I basically just cry. Um, and he goes, oh, yeah, um, yeah, something, wait, let me find it. Says so something along the lines of, uh, um, yeah, it's the worst, isn't it? I hate it. Does it make you sneeze a lot too? That also sucks. And I go, no, it doesn't really make me sneeze. Every now and again, I get like a sneezing fit. No, 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 no. And he goes, uh, uh, fair enough. Ha ha ha. Uh, drives me mad, exclamation mark. Have you ever sneezed in a vlog? That would be funny. Ha ha. And I'm like, like either you're really young, like, a bit like mentally ill, uh, not mentally ill, um, a bit like learning difficulties, different languages, something's weird here, something's going on, go onto his Twitter account and he just kind of tweets a lot and takes screenshots of people sneezing and says that it's like really cute and I'm like I'm on the weird side of Twitter again aren't I? I get that people are into their own kind of stuff <laughs> but man and oh right, right, there's something else me and Laura was talking about today um, on the basis of this um, and I was like, okay, this is weird. <laughs> like, let's get there's some kind of fetish going on here, and I don't want to be involved. Um, and also, something for the OG viewers. Um, uh, I'm probably rambling now. Um, but I read a blog from my friend Chelsea, which I told you all about recently, um, which was about how if you go back far enough in time, you'll find something. That so, like people will say things in 2010 that would if they said it today they'd get like absolutely lambasted for it would be horrendous um, and the internet would shun them and they'd be like how ridiculous can you do this so you can't go back in time and quote people because it's just not fair like things that you said way back when would be completely different to things that you'd say way back now so for the OG people I wonder how I'm gonna go and watch this <laughs> what's the difference um, I wonder what the differences between the way I just talked about that compared to the way I talked about the last time my videos ended up in some kind of weird fetishy kinky side of YouTube um, which was a long time ago and I changed the title of the video the video is called you if you watch it you'll be like what the fuck is even the fetish here but you'll look in the comments <laughs> it's weird as fuck um, <laughs> I think this is a lot more I don't know um, there's a, a video called, this title has been changed, um, this title has been changed due to inappropriate search results, or something like that, that's the title of the video. <laughs> um, way back when it was, I did, like, I was still at home, before university days, and I wonder what the difference is between the way I described this sneezing thing, and the way I described that, and OG viewers, if you can remember that, fucking well done. Um, but yeah, that was a, that was a weird time. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm going to go back and watch and see what the difference is between the way I described that. I didn't describe that in that video. I, it was like a couple of videos later when I realised and then cut it off, changed the title. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out which video it was, but I'm going to watch it. Probably going to be interesting. Um, but yes, because obviously the internet's a bit more... You can't quite say everything you want to say, uh, <laughs> because people don't like it. Right, it's bedtime. Um, it's quite late. I told Laura that I'd be in bed like just after 12 and that I got carried away. Slashed watching the assembly, uh, Avengers at the same time and I was like, not really paying 100% attention. Cool, what's going on tomorrow? Tomorrow we are doing our general mon Sunday stuff, so we're getting up early, we're going to have bacon sandwiches, we're going to clean out Graham, we're going to do our chores, like the washing, um, we're going to have lunch, Laura's going to go out for a run, we're then going to go out for a walk. Um, out. We're going to head up towards near I, where I work because we need to go to some shops. <laughs> we're always shopping. Uh, and there's like a river through there, so we might go and have a look to see what that's like. It's just a bit different to where we are now. Um, 
So it means as well I'm going to go park in work. Um, most likely, if we can't find parking, I just like key fob into work. I assume that's going to be okay. I'll find out if I'm told off on Monday. Um, I've got like a key fob into the car park, and the car park's empty apart from the people who work in operations with it, like 24 7. So it'll be fine. Um, so there's that. Uh, but then otherwise, that's basically it for tomorrow. I'm going to try and vlog a bit more. Um, I will say that. I know. Yeah, otherwise, um, that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Um, <laughs> hope you kind of enjoyed my little weird rumbles. I also hope you enjoy the like little tidbits of like hints I throw in every now and again about um, things that are going on, like my company and my program and stuff. Um, I've been like hinting slow, like very very gently on its name, but uh, I will be immensely surprised if any of you could figure it out. This is like, um, wait, uh, Chris was talking about uh, the other day in the comments about like it'd be better if when I'm describing code and stuff, it'd be good if I could like show you, do like descriptions of things. The problem is with the code itself, there are things in it that would give stuff away that I can't talk about yet because I need to wait for like uh, trademarks and registered company names and all this kind of stuff. Um, so things like the company name appears on the page in places um, and I don't want to risk doing anything silly like that and putting that out there too early. Um, so that's why I don't show any code, it's why I don't show any of my to-do lists or anything like that because specifically this like middle ground to-do list is run by the company, a bit like Slack, it's like I've joined the company's team. Um, <laughs> the company is <laughs> Uh, it's weird because I'm like uh, the manager, but then I also have like employee account, so I'm like admin and ops at the same time because it's a one-man band. Um, and otherwise, the other thing is that like to do a diagram, I need like a whiteboard, and the whiteboard is in the office, and the opposite side of the wall in the office is Laura being asleep, so it becomes quite difficult to like do demos and things like that. I've got this tiny little one here with a meal plan on it. Anyway, I'm going to get going to bed. Oh, rambling, Jimmy. Just talking shit, man. Um, cool. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Talk to you tomorrow. Because I'll catch you then. Catch you later.